think this event uh, has been very productive. This is the first time that um, I'm attending an event um, which is attended by human rights defenders, but at the same time also by um, freedom of expression and journalist um, uh, network. Um, it, it's very useful uh, in the sense that uh, we recently concluded an event uh, uh, inviting parliamentarians and other civil society that have a commitment on freedom of religion or belief. We know with the growing of fundamentalism, it's relevant to also look into uh, the nexus between freedom of expression and freedom of religion or belief. So um, it's, this uh, event has provided me with a um, huge opportunity to identify a potential partner to move forward with this key recommendation uh, to potentially uh, set up a task force uh, to, to come up with uh, the guideline on the nexus between FOA and FOB. Um, I think uh, we have discussed a lot of things. Uh, one is to enhance dialogue uh, and partnership and also to enhance education, uh, to diversify uh, the sources of media. But one thing that I want to emphasize is that we need to, um, in light of the fact that uh, social me media companies uh, or social media platform has been one of uh, the most uh, triggering factor of the increase uh, increase of the head speeches. Uh, hence, we need to really always constantly engage uh, the social media companies to enhance their code of conduct. Uh, for instance, Facebook has community standard, and then, then Facebook itself has to in, improve their um, community standard to be more in line with international human rights standard. And at the same time, uh, we have heard from the workshop that uh, there is actually um, social media council, but it remains to be seen if this council has been uh, fully operationalized. So I think uh, those things uh, was uh, the, uh, the key uh, points uh, that was given as the roadmap uh, as a follow-up from this event. Um, I think we can always uh, issue a joint statement or press release um, as a regional network um, uh, on, 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 on press freedom. Um, uh, and at the same time, uh, we could always um, engage them uh, in this, uh, for instance, we could invite them, uh, which we have uh, done for this event, and it, it was really beneficial, uh, the presence of an expert from Hong Kong here to, to share, um, you know, um, uh, the success story from, from, from the Hong Kong movement uh, in, in that specific case. And, and I think it, uh, it encouraged also um, other contexts of countries um, to also uh, do similar um, advocacy.